And we're live now. Hey, everyone. Uh, Fire Spy mm-hmm. time again. It's me, Eric, here with 8 and Mo yeah. again. Uh, mm-hmm. We're just going to get into it because we're kind of burning daylight here. So no Ooh. intro tonight, no nothing. Just getting right. And fucking Noel DC crashed. Dude, get a current ver- or Okay, I say current. It's still like 12 years old, but hey. Oh, yeah. You, you were with this was the get. most current version I could find. I didn't okay, know it okay. came out like 2014. Everyone makes mistakes. No one is blaming you. It's okay. What do we got on the back burner? Uh, All Star Virtua. I mean, featuring Virtua. Okay, okay. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll get my controller ready. Right now. What? Hold on. We're not giving up just yet. Quitter. Okay. Okay. This is a nice change of pace. I like this. Right. Still got his his buttons. Being genuine right now. I'm I'm being. Okay. There we go. Here we go. Okay. Cool. Son of a bitch. Connect me, damn it! I need to see this. Hold on, I'm trying. Old DC's a bitch. This is this has been this has been harder to get going than fucking the PS3 emulation. Yeah, and, uh, Dreamcast emulation in my experience over the past okay. decade of trying to use it and succeeding and failing and succeeding, um, not fun. Damn it! Unless you use DC emu, in which case you should have talked to Kami about that. But hey, look, what's done is done. Well, we can settle that later. Yeah, it's like, people should be talking to my server more. You're right. We should. But because I forgot to check the schedule and run ahead of time, because I was too busy... Why is he keep doing this? I was too busy dicking around. We led to this situation. I'll never let that happen again. And uh, I'll uh, promise to uh, account for that next time. Now, most important... There we go, finally. (sighs) All right, don't even fuck with the resolution. I'll just lean towards the fucking monitor. Yeah, sorry. Revive DC Project. So, also a bitch about this game. I was trying to find a good copy of it that ha- came as a GDI file or whatever. The Sega Dreamcast. CDI, used. GD, and GDI. It, I, I had to go into 4chan. I had to go to the depths of 4chan to find this. A good you, version of this. What, what game are we playing? Gargant? Oh, yeah. Never mind. I remember. I remember. Giant Graham 2000 All Star All Japan. I should be saying. Why are you repeating it when I just told you I remembered it? Never mind. All right. So who I'm are these to... guys? I know that's Baba in the center. I'm the trying top to connect. One, it looked like it was Ricky Dosan. Okay, I gotta go grab my glasses if it's gonna be the small one. Sec. Okay. Uh, Prince, let me in. Let me in. Let me try and just see if I can. Okay. Yes, I was able to make it a little better, bigger. What are you doing? Prince to quote Eric Andre. I'm letting you in. <laughs> Sorry, I was gonna do the bit. You didn't let me get enough time to prepare for the bit. Let me in. Crap, I forgot to open up the chat. It's okay, it's okay. Hey uh You ever run you ever run late for school and you got toast in your mouth as you uh Book it down to the to class. Yeah, me neither. All right, sorry, I had to grab my glasses. Uh, where are we at? Sorry, I was able to make it a little bigger. There's Baba in his deep fried robe. Uh, I think Why I'm out it? of focus. Why is it deep fried? It just looks that way. It's the colors. Oh wait, hold on. Shit, I forgot. Gotta get out the chat. I need more power, says Dat Demo. Yeah, me too. Where's mine? Alright. Okay, now we're good. This Giant Graham 2000, it's another All Japan game. You might know the one yeah. from Saturn that has Jeffrey and Hawk from Virtual Fighter. Yeah, All Japan Pro Wrestling historically had the better uh, video games of the All Japan New Japan Wars. Like... By a fucking long shot, because the New Japan Pro Wrestling games went on to be the basis for the SmackDown vs. Raw series. Oh, yeah. I remember. Oh, yeah. I found that out by watching uh, New Legacy. They're a bunch of guys that do uh, a bunch of wrestling games. And, uh... Okay. 
Here we go. Let's just get to it. Okay. Is there anyone you... Wait. Is that Wolf? That is Wolf Hawkfield as played yes. by Jungle Jim Steele. He is the real-life equivalent, uh, equivalent of Wolf Hawkfield, who was, made a, who was uh, cast as a cross-promotion for, I believe... Uh, Virtual Fighter 3. Fighter. So, yeah, I believe 3, yeah. Because that's when he had the red pants. That's what I remember. Can you let me in, damn it? What do you mean? You, I well, set up the, the hidden, I set up uh, the stream on Discord. The third, oh, I believe, thank unlockable. God. Oh, I'm not gonna get in on Parsec. Look, we're burning time, man. The third, I believe, unlockable. It's been a while. Arena. It really just it really does um, uh, betray the roots of this game. It's being partially developed by Scarab, the company responsible for battle monsters. And. Survival Arts. Survival Arts. Jesus Christ. If Melly was here, she would gut me across the sternum. Anyways. Man, to be more crazy would have helped with the double lariat. Oh, God. Here I go. Here he comes. Here he comes for the ECW crowd. This is the venue they wish they had. This is what they wish they could do with all that WWE money. EC Dub. East. Yeah, it says Wolf Hawkfield. No. Wolf Hawkfield. Yep. God, I, I, do, like I think the heart. second of the series of these games was funny because by that point they had the real life Wolfhawk, Wolfhawk field. So yeah. by the second one of these games, you had both Virtua and real life Wolf. Amazing. That's right, bitch. Kick his ass, Wolf. Kick his ass, Seabus. Here comes my suplex. <laughs> oh, shit. Do they really talk like that? Oh, it's Jose Humdinger from Best Bell Boxing. Or Marstorius. Oh, well, oh, I thought Marstorius was based off some other dude. Because I no, remember God. seeing something. He is, might I mean, just be a coincidence. Be, he might be the Argentinian guy, Pampero Fierpo, but that'd be a little bit more of an obscure call. I mean, Marstorius, uh, Bruiser Brody was a goddamn, like, giant in Japan and parts of the United States and Puerto Rico, but... Oh, he was in Puerto Rico. Cool. Oh, that's also where he All got right. stabbed to death, so... Oh, I wasn't yeah. going to bring that up, you asshole! I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty All much right. an enormous part of his legacy. Sorry. It, one could say okay, it's the final and one of the most oh, important. Fuck me, running. Why I'd is that not it's working? The part of my what? Oh Jesus, Jones. Okay. Uh, Try I'll again. Uh, okay, wait. unpause. I got to see what buttons work. That works. That works. Can you move? I can move. I can't strike. That's like. Oh. Okay, Which I'll button is strike? On. Try. Fuck, I don't remember what button to strike. I've been using a stick forever. Okay, so I uh, believe strike Just might be Just find a. your buttons first. No, I found most... Okay, I can. I believe I can run. Also, let me let me, let me me lock up real fast. That'll tell me. Ah, fuck, I know. Yeah, nope. I don't have a strike button. I believe that's supposed to be A. Oh, don't fucking punch me, man. I'm defenseless. Okay, mostly defenseless. I can still parry, but I'm that. not. It's, it's, you, get, you get used to it. Oh, God. Oh, holy crap. And on the metal studded floor they used for all those Capcom controller board like, layouts. Like if I don't got a strike option, if I don't got a strike button, I'm just doing whatever I can. Whatever I can, I can. Are you sure? Hold on, just try all your buttons again. Okay, I'm hammering the one that I assigned. Oh, oh no, when it comes to Null DC, you know when your shit isn't configured. Uh, Alright, let's see here. I, I did, did link I in mean? the uh, stream chat, so we can pro try this again. Okay, uh, fuck. It should be... I guess it should be Y. Press Y. Uh, y try again. It, I see it turning green. So, try right, that. Try. Nope. Not working. Uh, hmm. Let me try. I don't even know if my uh, if, I don't know if my X is working can, either. Okay, try maybe try reassigning the Y and the X. Yeah. Let's see here. All right, that's now K. I'll make this J, and I'll make that J, like from Otoko Juku. Try that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, 
Can you reverse K and J? I'm sorry, that is just my personal control preference. Hold on, wait, stop. I did stop. There's a lot of auto. There's a lot of automatic animations in this game. Try now. There we got it. Okay, now we're good. Uh, yep. Yeah. All right, boys, let's get ready to um. All right, so yeah. what else do we know about Bruiser Brother other than his terrible death in Puerto Rico? Please, there's I mean, gotta be more to that. He was like the original hardcore legend, him and Abdul the Butcher. Uh, by the way, if you, uh, okay, so are you familiar with the control scheme of the series? No. Uh, somewhat. All right, that is, okay, I can't tell you which button is which, because again, I've been using a control so you can play this for like the past six years. Uh, so you can strike one button that doesn't, one face button that doesn't seem to do anything, that is run. Then you have, uh, that's, okay, if you do this, hit it and press this motion, that's grab, and if you hit it and press this motion, that's hold. So hold is an automatic throw, like, uh, okay, so what, I think what you did was grab, pausing. The most important part, though, is that, like, there are two different sides, there are two different sorts of hold, uh, there are two, sorry, there are three main forms of attack, there is strike, there is grapple, which will put you into lock up, and then there is uh, what I just got my ass whipped doing, which is an instantaneous grab. An instantaneous grab. Sorry. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm having a hard time. There's a rock, paper, scissors system. All I remember is that going for a lock up beats a strike every time as long as you initiate fast enough. And using the lockup button is your way of uh, not only blocking but also parrying and reversing holds. So, all right, I got Max. What do I do? Uh, if you press both L and R at the same time, you will enter that. You will enter burning mode, which makes it harder to harder to pin you for one. But uh, oh, hey, you just accidentally parried. Cool. And if you hit L and R again while uh, the opponent, it is almost always a standing grab. If you hit L and R again, you will do a super super move. Ah, I whiffed it. Yep. So let's talk about the sound effect work in this, because we just seem to be screaming, everyone. Oh yeah, the voice clips are really weird. Um, Bruiser Brody was famous because he had this huts, huts, huts uh, uh, taunt he'd do, and it's, they cut it off really weird and kind of mechanically, so it sounds like he's a poorly encoded um, sound clip of a dog bark. <laughs> wow, what a disrespect. Yeah, Y to re-enter, so I guess Y means the running button. Wait, this has been going on for 45 minutes? Oh, no, I mean, the time in this... I mean, basically, most wrestling games amplify the time. But, uh... Time in this one is just, for some reason, super fucked. You'll be fighting for, like, 10 seconds, let's say. Five minutes! <sighs> Fucking football charge on that one. Oh shit, okay, yeah, I just dropped a little bit there, okay. There's also a whole reversal system where, like, a lot of characters can reverse certain moves, but, um, oh. that's, uh, unlike Astro Bout 2, which is one of the reasons I say that one's the worst part of the series, you don't really have to, uh... Okay, um, I don't know if Wolf has the giant sw if this Wolf has the giant swing, um, I know that Hiroshi Hase and... I believe Don Leo Jonathan have the giant swing, which makes sense because Don Whoa. Leo Jonathan did in, did actually create the giant swing. But uh, I like that we both reversed the Irish whip attempt right there. Yep. Hey, are you there? Oh, well, I just wanted Mo to talk. Just making so sure. there are two different sorts of uh, defensive options. Okay, there are three different sorts of defensive options against strikes. Uh, one is that again. I forgot the exact setup, but there is a rock, paper, scissors system, so if you uh, get it right, a grapple, a lockup will defeat a strike if you get it during the start of animation. Get him, get him, get him! Uh, forward plus lockup will. Uh, forward plus lockup is a parry, which I don't really see myself pulling off too often in, um, in this tonight as far as intentionally, but. Back plus back plus lockup again a little bit of a timing thing but not it's way looser that is a block and it's like a um, Jun Sekabayashi block where you just puff your chest out. All right and you do a super turbo drop. Uh, I did bring this up the other night and probably am 
million times because I fucking love this fact, but Jungle Jim Steel was already doing the turbo drop as his finisher move before he uh, got licensed to be Wolf Wolfhawk Field as the during the Sega cross promotion. So, I was like, so uh, when they did actually uh, when Virtual Fighter four or five vanilla, I cannot remember which. I am really blanking. Came out. Uh, Wolf did inherit after the deal after the uh, whole All Japan and Sega cross promotion deal had ended. Wolf did inherit the real life Wolf Hockfield's Turbo Drop as a move, which was apparently incredibly abusable. So they removed it in subsequent versions. Wow, cowards! Well, you got soup, aren't you gonna go for your thing? Oh yeah, I forgot I'm not one player. Oh yeah, also because I can't buy my arc my arc trigger. There we go. Oh fuck! What? Uh, fuck just lost you. A few frames. All right. Uh, if I'd done that right, that would have been. Go for it now. Um. I yeah. Sorry again. I could not buy my right trigger to where it normally is, so I hit where it usually is. It didn't work, and uh, hey. muscle memory is a bitch to defeat. Yeah. So this game actually does have a lot going on under the hood. I can only tell you a little bit of it because it's been a while since I took it super seriously. Uh, like there are multiple states of how like uh, uh, multiple states and different strikes at different properties. Most of the stand up strikes while still following Virtual Fighter formula are fairly limited. But uh, for example, uh, where's Slappy Cat? Okay, there we go. Masato Kakahara has one of my favorite ones in the game, which you can do a low kick, which if you do it right will actually cave the opponent's knee and they'll turn sideways at which point you can grab and drop straight into an arm bar let's go to this place it looks like a regional gym it might be Korakuen but um yeah it's definitely Korakuen so fun thing here is uh, Kakihara's theme the ultimate wrestle fighter is a very like poor sound alike of the UWO5 theme song, which uh, Universal Wrestling Federation, Kaki Hara guys start in the original UWF or was it UWF? Point stands. They did a sound alike of a theme they couldn't license, and just instead of saying, "Oh no, it's not Ultimate Wrestling Federation, not Universal Wrestling, Fe Wrestling Federation," it's um Ultimate Wrestling Fighters. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. And I believe. Wait. Who did I choose? I Um, I believe you chose Young Baba. Oh! Yeah, there's like three Giant Babas in this game, because Giant Baba... Too Baba's little. Cool. Needs more. To be fair, the third one is his, um, is his model, but it has random... I can't believe it has random moves. But yeah, it's like, hey, there's three Babas. Way to go. I don't have a start button, so it's all up to you. Oh, okay, there we go. So is this guy, was this guy a shooter at some point? Uh, yeah, Kakihara, I don't believe Kakihara. Oh, yeah. fuck! Yeah, I fucked up that, that was my bad. That was a botch. I don't know if Kakihara, Kakihara had his own, like, actual shoot fighting career, but he was a shoot, he was one of the main stages of the shoot fighting, of the uh, shoot style wrestling movement. Where he was primarily known for, he, I mean, he was one of those fighting spirit guys. Like he would, like, he was a high flyer almost? Oh, no, I mean, there was, like, I mean, outside of Battle Arts, High Flying did not have a place in shoot style, but he was like, uh, he would come out the gate hitting, and he would go down swinging. Like, he was the, he was basically like a more jobbery Evo. Dude! There's a link up from that, I remember, if I remember DDT right. DDT right. into the baked potato. Somehow there is a yeah. Oh fuck! Hit the apron too. That's gonna require jaw surgery. Damn it! I keep hurrying. That's not my R trigger. Okay. Shit. Okay. I'm having some trouble timing the grabs, but uh. No, I'll let you do yours just to see it. Go for it. Cool. So yeah, Kakihara was also primarily a striker. Uh, so his is just like showing them how you do it UWF style.
both of both of Bob's are this are the same. You know, uh, well, all right. I'll, might as well yeah, see since it anyways. we've already kind of thrown the rules out the window, uh, I believe it is what like something like. Ooh, I believe it was called like the the thirty two sin drop kick or something, just implying that this colossal titan oh. made however many units that was supposed to represent. Like how they would rank Chojin power and Kaneko in. And it I was mean, meaningless. I yeah, basically. <laughs> just oh, yeah, make just put Kiniku, make the man. just make the number bigger to make it seem more impressive. I mean, everyone, you didn't need it to be good in Kini Command. It was weird. It's weird that that existed in Kini Command when every oh, when Kini Command and most of the main characters win, they were actually through either random bullshit or actually being competent fighters. They also did a lot of that in some in the mid nine in all the uh, KOF manuals from '96 to uh, '99. Yeah, but isn't it like weird where it's like, oh man, Buffalo Man has like a million power, but Kini Command beats him because he figures out how to do an uh, how to actually like physically take him down. Okay, getting my guard just did describe what I believe was actually okay. So this is actually the story behind uh, Giant Baba's 16 Mon drop kick, which is shoe size 16. So his big boot was the 16 Mon, and his drop kick was the 32 Mon. Mm. That actually, I do think I believe, or I, I believe I did remember hearing that in the past. So thank you. It's the hardest I've ever been All right, now where's the Gracie yet? in this game? Because I know there's a Gracie. Good God. Uh, I believe this. I am over him right now. I'll take Divine him. Gracie. And naturally, the Gracie's greatest opponent is a knockoff of Andre the Giant. Now the Gracie's how much of a knockoff? I mean, God, imagine how just how scared they would be of a six foot, I mean seven foot Kazushi Sakuraba. On well, part of Sakuraba, I mean, I do know for a fact we have someone who I respect very much for his their graphing opinions in the chat. Wait, hold so, on. Uh, Side note: I just want to say. His mask kind of looks like Joggy's. Yes, yeah, it does. I, that might be intentional because it's him and it's he is Giant Crusher and the other one is Crusher. Crusher is based off of uh, classy Freddy Blassie and supposedly never been able to prove this. Fake Andre and fake um, uh, fake Blassie are both. Uh, there are supposedly versions of them floating or of this game floating around where they are both represented by their actual selves. I have not been able to prove or deny this. Yeah, but where's the joggy part come in? Oh, I mean, they were both like monster heels. Andre was just a little bit more loved. Classy Freddy Blassie was like filing his teeth down, and uh, yeah, he would uh, his whole gimmick was he would file his teeth down for more, uh, for more <clears throat> chomping abilities. So, so, um, so the joggy mask. Where, where, where... Oh, thing? I mean, like, Scarab are, like, I will show you the New Japan uh, copyright infringement pointing characters in a second. Ooh. Because uh, most of the guys in the Legends section are a little bit more, or, I'm sorry, the unlockable fakey section are a little bit harder to um, identify, mostly because they come from companies who couldn't sue the shit out of all Japan. So the New Japan wrestlers that they incorporated are, uh... Sweet. Oh god. Can't stop this shit. Uh, so yeah, you can actually for example that one, you can hold it down to um Oh shit. Oh man, I got the Pride FC gloves on. Oh goodness gracious. Oh goodness. <laughs> well then again, this is a real martial artist going up against someone who's just trained to perform. Career fucking Wait. Career fucking ended. So another this problem thing is Giant Baba did not believe in submission finishes, so I don't know if you can actually win a match with a submission in this game. Really? Then how would he end his uh, matches? Yeah, it was really funny because after the ring started to was starting to fold, um, Giant Baba was actually like, oh, I guess you can. I just haven't because I'm not that great at this game. Um, well, neither am I, but we're making it work. How come okay. Baba gets top billing on the character select screen here, I man? think the thing is, was, unfortunately, he passed away around the game's release. And also, yeah. Giant Baba was the founder of All Japan Pro Wrestling, and he was, like, a major pop cultural figure. No, no, what I meant to say is, why does he look like he's the fucking boss character? I mean, because he literally the is the boss. boss. 
He pays every, every everyone here who's still alive. He pays their salary at this time and uh, that time. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, including poor Gary Albright. Oh uh, well. Let's see. Okay, so you chose the fake Antonio Inoki, which um looks like a discount spawn. He's oh no, explained. you say discount spawn. You're about to see what it is, but uh, I guess I'll. I'm not that great at Gary Albright, but I'm having a trouble timing tonight anyway, so. Humans, the original human suplex machine, Gary Albright. But yeah, suppose, okay, so yeah, there is a limb damage system, so if you get them to 100, you can still get them submitted, but uh, it is funny because supposedly legends have it that Giant Baba was go trying to scout Hulk Khan to join All Japan Pro Wrestling. Amazing. And I kept thinking, that would be so dope until I remembered to wait a second. Vulcan is like the premier submission specialist of the 90s in a biz in an organization that hates submission finishes that would probably be actually very terrible nightmare now so speaking of terrible Inoki, yep yeah you thought it was oh a <laughs> yeah. whoa so Antonio Inoki and Giant Baba were training brothers and were actually a tag team named B.I. Cannon, which is why this guy is named Killer B.I. And after Riki Dozan was, uh, after Riki Dozan unceremoniously, let's just say, passed away, uh, the two split, the two former training brothers split off in 1972 to form Old Japan Pro Wrestling and New Japan Pro Wrestling. Okay, 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 okay. Now explain to me why he's a fucking being from the ninth dimension. Because they wanted to put Inoki in this game because of his importance to both wrestling history and All Japan Pro Wrestling history. But at this time, New Japan Pro Wrestling could have sued the fucking living daylights out of them. So they just really got weird with it. So they just decided to put in Necro Inoki? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, what a life. His name is G. No, see, no, no, you're looking at Gary Albright. Sorry, my bad. I was looking over at his. Let's see. Yeah, no, Gary Albright. Uh, unfortunately, like it is kind of sad. He, like, I think he passed away like right before this game came out, but uh, which is why he's in Legends. But he was one of the main. Uh, this UW motherfucker just called the killer. He's called Killer Bi. I'm looking over that that right over there, and it just says the killer. Yeah, but in his intro, it actually has Bi and Romaji at the end. You gotta because... be fucking kidding me. Yeah, because again, like I said, Killer uh, B.I. Cannon was the name of the giant button in the tag team. Ah, oh, fuckles. Oh, that looks, oh, that looks so disturbing. Oh, yeah. I whiffed it! Animation error? Holy fuck. No, the, this game has really weird sound bites. No, yeah, no. I, was, I can't tell. hear the sound, so that's oh. already out of the question. I was talking about when his, he activated his super, and he turned into a fucking demon. Rope break! Oh, no, everyone... Everyone turns flaming. I can't remember how it looks on real hardware. It's been a while, but, uh... Well, eventually I'll just put this on my Dreamcast and play it, so... I'll find out for you. In the meantime, what we've got here is, uh... What the fuck is even happening here, boys? What we've got here is a goddamn travesty. Oh, so, seeing their flame represents a super meter is pretty neat. That's a nice idea. Uh, in execution, it looks very... Com very... Very, um... Oh, God. So, like I said, Gary uh, Gary uh -huh. Albright was the main suplex machine. He was a, I believe someone's going to correct me probably. I can't remember if he was Oklahoma or Nebraska, but... Uh, double! German! That yeah, was more no, than double. Was, yeah, he was a collegiate wrestler, and he was okay in uh, Stampede out of Calgary, but where he really shone was they scouted him somehow for UW, UWFI, the shoot style promotion of the 90s from Nobuhika Takata, where he just became a goddamn monster because of his unparalleled ability to just beautifully just hurt people with suplexes. He put the hurting on those who were wor working. Uh. Break free, break free, get fucked, break free. So, uh, you have to get their health down to ne near zero and then pet them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I... that's pretty clear cut. I like that. Seems like a pretty good game. Or so like I'd said, say. These submissions are a little fucked, but you can. Oh. Oh, he okay. gotcha. Yeah, Wait, so. Oh, shit. That? It's oh. a part, part of his move? Yeah, part of Anoki's whole gimmick was, like, the whole. He was, like, the comeback kid, and, uh. So he has the only birding move that begins with him eating a shot. 
Really? That's a bit strange. That I'm makes misleading. sense. I like it. Wait, wouldn't that just... What if that just led to you get eating shit and just getting one knocked out and they had, they could just pin you right then and there? Oh, no, I mean, eating the eating the hit is part of the canned animation. Man, I wish it wasn't, though. That would be pretty fucking funny. <laughs> be hilarious. Let's go find like, oh, the pop, guys. You should have popped that super. Maybe, Inoki, you shouldn't have made it your thing. I like thing, this guy's dude. mustache. Hiroshi Hase, Absolutely who was... fucking trash. Oh, there you go. Hiroshi Hase, who was, um, he was a New Japan guy primarily, and then he moved to All Japan, and there was, I, I, there's still a part I really want to confirm before I start saying it, but I believe his, and I believe his move to All Japan was actually telegraphed by him being in a lot of other games. Am I talking to a ghost in a wind tunnel? Yes. Sorry. That's because of my mic, my bad. So Hiroshi Hase was also, after this, went on to become, for a few years, the Japanese Minister of, of uh, Education, so... Why does his shirt say H squared? Hiroshi Hase. How did oh, wait, he go out of office? I figured, out, I figured it out, I figured it out. Wait, Northern Light? What the fuck? Is that some weird, like, not copyright version of something? No, Northern Light's... He, he, he uh, innovated the Northern Light suplex. The fuck is so the since he Light went into suplex. politics, how did he get out of politics, or is no, he still no, no, there? No, 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 I, I want to know what the Northern Lights suplex is. Well, we'll see it. Probably. Continue with his political career. Did he fuck his way out of it? Or did he I don't know. I it? think he just didn't get reelected. I don't think he like left in disgrace or anything. I think he just like. Got well. in oh, well, that's. He did his dance, and they just took stage left. That's respectable. See, I was gonna say that's you. That's normal, but I realized just. Not getting elected and then just leaving is like the most unusual thing for someone's political career these days. For all I know, he may still be in local politics. I haven't exactly kept up with like local Japanese politics unless they involve the Great Sasuke. But hey, uh, was he? Oh right, I think we already the talked about Sasuke that. Was the dude who wore his mask, uh, wore his lucha mask uh, while oh, still being shit. a member oh, of the Japanese parliament? There we go. And it worked. They didn't yeah, have to pull was... him into another room to just unmask him to make sure, okay, it's him. Yeah, they had a, a, they had a oh, guy who, that, so who knew what Sasuke looked like. So what you're telling me, wait, what, what was, he, was he good at his job? Oh, God. I don't think he was terrible, but, I, I mean, again, I don't know Japanese politics, especially because Sasuke, I don't believe, was really on a national level. Oh, well, that's not surprising. I mean, pro wrestlers have a certain skill sets. A lot of them don't really lend towards being great politicians. I mean, they lend towards being great politicians as far as speaking to the people, but they don't really... Oh, shit. Hold on. Ah, man. Mike Hagar. You're having it rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> At least he held down his position for a while. Yeah, I don't understand how he managed to just give his position to Cody without any problems, given that Cody is Cody is a fucking felon. They may have had like some sort of fightocracy in Metro City. It doesn't seem to be the case because he was democratically elected. I mean, um, how Hagar was. So unless that motherfucker decided to put in some uh, some local legislation. Uh, I don't see how that worked out. Oh my goodness, is this the So yeah, start suplex? whipping, start doing 360s, man. Like, this is his... Just start whipping out 360s. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, Oh, this is not good for the stick. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 21 big ones. Lucky yeah, I believe 21. the default is 12, so not bad. That's my favorite number. Because it's my number right now, it's my age. Wait, did you turn 21 already? I mean, yeah, I told you, I'm already 21. When? I forgot when your birthday was. It was months ago. <sighs> also, that demo is asking in chat, is Kane still mayor? Yes, yes, he is. Yes. Probably, yeah. He's, but he still like... makes the odd appearance on WWE programming because he was on, uh, I believe how I'm trying to tell something fun, but. My bad. Uh, he appeared on freaking. Uh, uh oh, what I play? Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Uh. No, shit. Yeah, Fuck. damn it, dude. There we go. Uh, yeah, Kane's still mayor of Knox County, Tennessee. Uh, from what I hear, he's a good guy, so, you know, that's good. But uh, he still makes the odd appearance on uh, WWE programming. He was on SmackDown a while back to do a thing with the 
Fiend and Daniel Bryan, because I guess they had a tag team when Bryan was heel. I guess he was one of those fellows that liked to take down SmackDown Raw. You know, I don't okay. know, man. Cowboy time. Now, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah, so I turned 21 on the 21st of October. Did you drink or anything? Did you... No, I don't drink. It's fair. You know, I... The thing is, like... You know how some how it's come out that wow look at him go, you know how it's come out that Dare was bullshit right? You know the uh, anti drug thing. In what thing? sense? That it made kids want to do drugs more. Oh wow, South Park already did an episode on that one. The thing is, I think it actually worked on me because I have yet to actually drink. You didn't need to fucking. We've already talked about this before. You didn't need fucking Dare to tell you drugs were bad. No, obviously, you, you but it's like. Bad. Wait, oh, I had a good joke. It's Mask X from arm wrestling. You Mask X it. from arm wrestling was based off this guy, if I remember right. Like, there's, like, uh, including I mean, that's just straight up his mask. Yeah, characters that were based off him include the Gorilla Boss from God Hand. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Destroyer, Dick Bayer. I was going to say, this feels a little bit like God Hand. Didn't he, this like, get some feels kind like of, like, using the God Hand. Did right. he get some like special award for like being such an icon in wrestling and in Japan or something? Uh, yeah, he's gotten. Oh, balls. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. he's gotten a few awards. Um, because I remember him so, getting some kind of lifetime achievement thingy, I think. Cool. I believe so, and I will say, at least on my part, like when I was first getting into pro wrestling, he was the only dude from the black and white or from the black and white or similar era that like, really Still got going. me like, oh shit, this dude, this dude rules. Cool. This um, this whole thing looks like it runs on the God Hand engine sometimes when I look at it. Well, the thing is, I'm streaming this on Discord and through OBS, so there's probably some kind of latency on lag or whatever. I was talking oh, yeah. about that. I'm talking which about just the wait. That, uh, which is why I'm glad you don't know how to do parries, because I have time in them right now. What I was saying was, no, I just meant the way it looks and feels, because I'm just thinking about God Hand. Oh, yeah. It does feel, I, I will say, it does feel a little bit like that in a way, just the way you move. Yeah, and also, like, like honestly, animation for supers. Yeah. I don't know actually much about the team behind God Hand. I do kind of wonder if there's some shared DNA. Team Clover did probably did not have involved well, no, with this, because they were with Capcom, but... Hello, my giant jumbo martial arts. Obviously. Giant jumbo jellyfish says it can't be running on the God Hand engine because the sound, the audio doesn't sound like it came pre deep fried. Oh, that's I mean, a good that joke. Is fair. Oh shit. That's so good. I'm willing to overlook the fact that Virtual Fighter 3 sounds even worse. No. You know this. There, I'm hearing a lot of Virtual Fighter sounds in this. I do feel like Virtual Fighter sounds must have been compressed on like wax cylinder. I'm just saying. I spe like yeah. it's so jarring, especially when they appeared in Dead or Alive. It's like, so jarring when they appear in Virtual Fighter Five. You're not letting me finish. Yeah, I'm not. I won't let you. Guys, remind me of a cruel show bit. All right, let's see what your super is. Oh God. Wait a minute. He's the pirate from Flower Sun and Rain. Who? Our yeah, so most of the guys who have a yellow icon are actually dudes in the 60s and 70s, so they are, they are a little less dramatic, but... He's about to get fucked! Damn, I was about to say something, but now you made me lose my train of thought. Seriously, the audio... The, the sound clips in this are so weird. Yeah, they are super strange. Like, I, I mean, obviously some of these people were dead, so they couldn't get new sound clips. But even the ones who were still alive at this time, there's something about the compression or the way they were cut. They just kind of sound like robots. Hey, how come you're not allowed to pin someone with their back turned up? You have to have the shoulders rules. touching the floor. Yeah, both shoulders touch the mat. It's okay. a holdover from, like, uh, the... It's a holdover from the um, folk wrestling background of professional wrestling. Anyways, what was I going to say? Oh, now I remember the Virtual Fighter thing. I am saying it was so jarring in Virtual Fighter 5 because, like, totally different engine, totally different game. They clearly, Sega clearly could have handed off the more higher quality recordings from the arcade You mean Dead or Alive? Five. Yes. I would, wait, what the? Oh, so... Uh, also, I did not get the name drop this last night, um, 
But Later I kept time. The, the Palo special, our Pero special from uh, Auto, a, a War Spans Palo special. I was told a few years ago it is actually the Palo special. It is the name of a submission move from the British wrestler and Mr. Television. Um, yeah, Palo. yeah, yeah. I know. I told Prince about it, and we had a very funny incident with it, where he tried to look it up, and he goes, "I don't believe you." And he tries to look it up, and his search results end up different from mine. And I got the Ar Wikipedia article, and he got fucking nothing. I still don't know how that. So happened. why is Hayabusa here trying to be a Power Ranger? Because they, because Hayabusa was doing a tour with um with All Japan Pro Wrestling during the mid late nineties, and he was like fan beloved, but he refused to believe, he refused to leave his home promotion of Frontier Martial Arts Wrestling, or I believe there's FMW at the time. So he did a but different wanted, character. They wanted him, but they did not want to feel like, they did not feel like licensing him. And the thing is, FMW, even at its strongest, was in no position to win a legal battle of All Japan Pro Wrestling. Ah, so I love you, Peter. So would it be fair to say that FMW was the Japanese ECW? Uh, more or less, yeah. It was like the third company that came out of seemingly nowhere. Um, and again, like was also the more violent, brawlery, like entertainment one. Could we expect them to say, "Jesus"? There was five of them. No, five. that was Big Japan. Yeah, Bible. that's the yeah that, that's the company that has the guy that eats light tubes. Was Again, you're gonna specify which one. I don't know. I I was in a completely different server talking wrestling, and then some guy I'm okay like on okay terms with just says, you know, there's this guy that eats glass. He pauses yeah, uh, for a few minutes. I'm like, oh shit, are you being real? Then he posts yeah, the clip, and I I had to go for a walk that day because I saw a man eat glass. He is probably referring to Abdullah Kobayashi, who's the one most, who most famously did. Ah, balls. I'm having a really hard time reversing stuff right now. Sorry, I just want to see all the supers, mostly. Oh, yeah, no, the super zone. Alright, fellas, it's time for me to dip out. Alright, fair enough. I guess we'll just make tonight short, because I don't want to play none of them by myself. I will see you later. Don't forget, we're going to... Oh, wait, are we still on for more uh, yes. Virtual Pro tomorrow? Cool. Later. Later. Love you, man. Be safe. You too. Bye, Lord Mo. Later, dude. Wait, what am I doing? Oh! Off the yeah, ropes! Yeah. yeah, top rope moves are actually ground moves in this game. Like That's weird. It is weird, I do like it. But it's it. less confusing to do anyways. Yeah. So of the contemporaries who were in this game, you had Sky High Edge, who was supposed to represent um, Hayabusa. And you have another dude whose name I'm blanking on, but he's clearly supposed to represent Michinoku Pro's uh, Jinsei Shinzaki or Hakushi in the WWF. Which you'll know, like these two, yeah, that guy and that guy are both like very, very blatantly ripoffs. But again, Michinoku Pro and FMW, especially at this time, were not really in any position to win a legal battle. Meanwhile, everyone down here except the yellow dude are in New J or either Antonio Inoki, New Japan Pro Wrestling, like you know, royalty, or the Three Musketeers in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So they have really weirdly obscure designs because they did not feel like fighting a lawsuit. They just wanted the movesets in the game. Admirable. I dig it, yeah. I love the copyright dodging ways of old uh, wrestling games. Alright, let's go play in Paul Heyman's house. I would like to think that Paul Heyman doesn't have quite such a robust sex dungeon. No, this, no, this, if anything, this is the arena he wished he could have had if they had made big money. You got all the, yeah, the fans in the cage like wild animals. There's metal everywhere. You're fighting on the fucking stapled metal sheet that they use for uh, all the Capcom arcade cabinets back in the 90s. You know, on the controller board. <laughs> okay. Where's his mom ironing his clothes? I, I saw that one promo for behind the scenes when they were really tooth and nail. So, oh! by the way, this character Ooh. is an unlockable in like, oh. all of the Giant Gram games. I don't like him visually. Uh, he is weird because he's like... 
Is he and supposed to be the Jeff Brody replacement? He's a little bit Bruiser Brody, a little bit uh, Superfly Snuka, but like... Did he kill his girlfriend? He's pure Kaniku man. Oh. That excites me. It almost makes up for his design. Like, I've heard... I, I saw where one FAQ in English no shit referred to him as, like, the real-life basis, Super Bruiser Brody. Like, Super Bruiser Brody was a real thing. Oh, fuck me running. Okay, there we go. Ooh. God, I have such a hard time blocking. So who's this guy you're playing as, by the way? Uh, Dr. Death Steve Williams, another Oklahoma guy. Uh, he was known as basically one of the toughest sons of the bitches in the industry. Uh, Amateur wrestling base, I believe. I do believe he was also a football player. I can't remember honestly how many Midwestern American like pro wrestlers were football guys. It's probably most of them, honestly. But uh, he was kind of regarded as like one of the most murderous badasses, dude, from um, from the West as far as like a Japanese wrestling went, uh, went for. And um, kind of notable for among other things, he had a. Really grotesque uh, backdrop driver. Oh wow, that's worse. That that taunt is just bad. That is his Bruiser Brody taunt, which is really worse coming from a guy who looks like um, a slave, a bad Native American, I mean, Native American, Native African stereotype. He, I mean, he looks like a bad stereotype of basically every race. Let's be honest here. I lost my meter. Shit. <sighs> Ooh. So yeah, there's parries in this game. <laughs> Apparently, this move is called the because he is Doctor Death Steve Williams. So this move is called the Death Prescription. Nice. That's that's pretty good. Yep. Like I said, his backdrop was like goddamn grotesque, and he had the Doctor Bomb, which ah. is kind of like a uh, turning gut wrench suplex. Or gut, gut wrench, gut, gut wrench bomb. Sorry. I. I cannot tell you what that dude's name is. Again, he is kind of one of the weirdest characters in here. We got two of the of tiger head, masks. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you have. Real ass. Yeah, the sounds again are really weird. They are like okay, so you chose. Uh, Tiger Erection, who is basically, as far as I can tell, he's supposed to be anime Tiger Mask. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, he's a pain in the ass to fight in single player. He has Kaneku Busters. Ooh, I gotta see that now. Alright, well, I guess I'll be Misala. All right, so what do we know about this guy? Uh, honestly, most of what I'm going to say about Misawa will probably not be enough. He was like, especially, I mean, he was like the hero of Japanese wrestling in the 90s. And in America, he became the symbol of like amazing Japanese pro wrestling. Uh, one of the probably, according to most, one of the top 10 to ever lace up the boots. Uh, but shortly after this, he and a bunch of others, and I'm blanking on who because I rarely watched Noah, he and a bunch of others split off from uh, after Giant Woo! Bob was killed to form Noah. Which uh. became like the also the secondary stage market for tape traders to talk about how amazing Japanese wrestling was. Uh, I hate to say it, I was not actually huge into All Japan, mostly because it was exhausting. Just hard to keep up with everything? Uh, that and like all Japan was very much based off of this uh, like epic storytelling style where like, in, like it was kind of like the way I think of it is New Japan is New Japan was Baki the Grappler all Japan was BBZ <laughs> that's, a, that's good that's good 
Why aren't I, why aren't I taunting? Now I'm taunting. Fuck you, button. I think you just hold one of the triggers. Yeah, you do, but for some reason it wasn't working. Over my back. Oh, no, wait. Balls, balls, balls. Aw, oh, Jesus, I was trying to block and I didn't actually. Oh, wait, I did. Oh, damn it! Shit. Oh damn it, I whiffed my meter because I got too greedy with hitting the strike button. Oh. So yeah, Misawa was also Tiger Mask 2 because uh, All Japan beat out the licensing rights for, for uh, Tiger Mask 1 once, uh, I believe, I can't remember if Sai Satoru Sayama gave up the role because of that or if it was because he quit All Japan, but the point is, um, like, Misawa was just like a promising rookie up until he was Tiger Mask 2, in which case he was like, okay, but um, I'm so bad at blocking those. Ooh! Didn't one of the Tiger Masks start Shooter style or something? Shuto, I think, believe? Yeah, yeah. Tiger Mask 1, Satoru Sayama, came from, uh... I mean, he did come from the New Japan background of submission arts, but, uh... Also, oh, he did have a kickboxing background, so he went... He broke off to form... I want to say he formed Shuto, um... I can't remember which one he founded, but... He was one of the early mixed martial arts adopters in the 80s. And he was part of the first UWF, which is the uh, initial shoot style experiment. No, I'm gonna keep wiping my nose, dude. Right. Oh, we're right in front of the judges, too. Ah, too bad there's no Spanish announce table. Oh, balls. So yeah, there's also oh, it's also different outside. Yeah, there's different burning moves for the outside. There, I think there's like five of them that are shared across the entire cast. So this is uh, not great for me. Wait, I throw him back into pin? Oh yeah, you can't pin on the outside, dude. This ain't ECW. What was FMW's stance on that rule? Or were they playing it straight by, no, it's gotta be in the ring. FMW, I mean, ECW, at least for a period, was Falls Count Anywhere. FMW was, it's gotta be in the ring, everything else goes. I keep thinking my controller is my controller info is broken. Then I realize I'm not focused on the window. Oops. Let's go with this fella. Grand sword. Yep. Sorry. Who's this man? So this one is, is uh, Kento Kobashi. He's again like one of the titans of uh, Japanese wrestling fandom. He was one of the four heavenly pillars. And uh, he, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, he's, I think he's my favorite. Like a lot of people value Misawa more, but I think I like Kobashi better. Uh, he's a lot more burning fighting spirit and uh, I, that applies to his personal life where it is, this was, it's believed he might, he may or may not have just chopped the shit out of his cancer and uh, got and cured it that way. Nice. And who's this man? This is Bobo Brazil. Uh, Bobo Brazil is really old school. I don't know a ton about him if we're being honest. Fair enough. Uh, 
Oh, that was the wrong button. Oh. God, I'm so bad at the, the Irish whip inputs in this game because Irish whips are automatic moves instead of having to line them up. But I'm so bad at the timing that you're supposed to actually do them a certain way to uh, make them input, and I never do it right. Damn it. I think that might be how you do it, yeah. Uh, put it in before they hit the other rope. I'm just... Oh! Jesus. Okay, so yeah. I don't remember, this. since there's a rock, paper, scissors system, part of the burning move system... Uh, the burning moves are part of that rock, paper, scissors, and I don't ever remember in time which one it is. Ooh! Oh god, my leg! So yeah, Kobashi can parry kicks with the dragon screw. That's cool. God oh, damn it, that was not what I meant to do. Oh well. Um... I mean, I'm pretty clearly in a pickle, let's be honest here. Oh god, what's he doing? No, not fall all the way that this Whoa! Oh god. Oh shit. So yeah, like, Kobashi was my favorite of the pillars, partially because he was always the one who was just screaming passionately and hitting things, which That's is what you should a, always uh, do. Yeah, it's a life philosophy you can really believe in. It makes things feel more powerful. I mean, what else are you going to do when you're trying to squeeze one out from the toilet? Okay, I'm glad you... Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I had to scramble to make it sound less awkward. Yeah, I mean... So I'm having such a bad time with timing things right now. Oh! Still in this. Oh! What a bridge. Good. Oh, what time is it? Let's see. We've been at this for an hour. Roughly. We, yeah. Uh, do you gotta get going soon? Maybe about 30. I mean, I always say I'm going to be in bed by 10 on a Sunday because of the whole full-time job thing, but uh, it's usually like 11 if we're being generous. Well, let's just do a few more matches then. Works for me. Like three more, I think. Right, I'm gonna try the giant, uh, giant Andre the Giant guy again because I remember he had a few fun things. I mean, he wasn't particularly amazing as far as gameplay, uh, like grace went, but hmm. it's a, he was, it's one of my one of my preferred interpretations of Andre just because he does actually have a move that I can't remember how to do, where all he does is just move into you as a very large man. I just 
I love the fucking joggy faceplate mask. Yep. Such a cool look. There will never be a cooler mask ever than Joggy's piece. I mean, it's honestly one of my favorite masks of all time, too, yeah. Like, and I've seen the mask that uh, might have been based off of from a uh, some live-action thing, and that live-action thing does not look nearly as good. All right, who's this man? Uh, Jumbo Turuta, who was uh, another fairly old-school dude. Uh, honestly... I really liked him, but I kind of like Genichiro Tenryu better, so he's the one I know more about. I'm noticing that he had the Olympic rings on his back. Is that uh, prevalent to anything about him? I'm going to be very embarrassed. I actually don't know. Jumbo right. was a guy whose matches I enjoyed, but I never really was had a burning desire to look up more about him. Right, if anyone else knows in chat, let us know. Yeah, there's definitely someone in chat who knows more, Jesus. Yeah, I think this is the most active the chat's been this month. Then again, we still got three more weeks of amazing ahead of us. Yeah, Master Bout 3 is going to be one of those weeks where I get to ramble about rings or something a bit more comfortable about. Hell yeah. Oh no! Ooh! Yeah, eat my ass. Uh. That was wrong. Oh well. Oh! oh. Oh, that was right to your balls, too. Uh-oh. Oh, balls. Oh no, bullshit. Here we go. One. Two. And a three. All right. Giant Jumbo Jellyfish says, looking it up, Jumbo was an amateur wrestler in college and he competed in Munich in 1972. And I felt like I'd heard something about that, but I didn't want to be an ass and say it because I, um. <laughs> Well, still, he's got I, some cred. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Again, I love Jumbo. I, I don't know why he's never motivated. He's like one of those dudes I've defined as like a really Ooh. good 70s guy, but not unique enough for me to really be on my way to learn about. I mean, he was also like incredible up through the 80s and like some of the 90s matches I watched even, but... Oh shit, that was the wrong button. No one! Oh. Don't you swap me away. Oh, no, man. Here it comes again, bitch. Two! And uh, three! There's going to be less orphans tonight. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to kick out of this even if I hadn't just accidentally kicked out the window. Like, that was, like, death incarnate. Now, that's the kind of horny theme I like. Yeah, like, that is old school. I mean, that is old school Japanese television as hell. It's such a good sound. We need to bring it back. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see, we'll do two more matches, so uh, I'll go with this guy. I didn't see who you picked. I picked the one that has the basket on his head. Yeah, he's based off of Jinsei Shinzaki, who was uh, Michinoku Pro's, like, hometown heavyweight. Again, he was um, Hakushi in WWF, which is probably his most famous uh, out-of-Japan appearance, but he always had this really cool look of, like, a wandering monk who always had, like, like just... Like, like ancient Japanese characters written all down his front, which I cannot imagine how hard, how long it took to apply. Me 
enlightenment world. I got the little staffy thing with the rings. My fucking D and D monk had one of those. Shakujo. Is that what it's called? Uh, I believe so. Then yes, I believe that's what he had. Yep. So yeah, I was getting my guards as in the chat. I do love like part of the weirdness of this uh, game is that uh, Freddy Blassie was a biter, and in this game he has wait a biter or a fighter. Like, I he... mean, he is a he was like a, the one of the ultimate like foreign heels, and in this game he has like shark teeth that are part of his mask, and so he has like an actual piranha mouth. Wow. Damn it. I'm having a hard time timing defense in this game, which is not great because most of this game is timing that defense. Yeah, oh see, his like, teeth are actually moving. His mask's teeth are moving, so. You know, they actually make Halloween masks like that now, where you can actually like, move the mouth of your mask. But I tried on one of those, and it's so hard to do. You really have to really wrench your mouth open to get it going right. Even then, the effect isn't really looking all that great. Someone call X Pac. <laughs> see, pushing his teeth, that's fun. Oh, God. Just got a mouthful of basket there. It's all good. All that wicker, though, that's gonna get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, exactly. I was saying, uh, like I was saying earlier, Freddy Blassie would file his teeth, uh, would like at least mime filing his teeth to points with a uh, nail file in all of like Japanese media to portray what a just complete bastard he was. He did an interview where he was talking about how many people he killed in the ring uh, for Japanese television. Oh god, no, 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 no! Stop doing your Andy Bogard pose, you son of a bitch! Oh, balls. Denbutsu! Ah, uh, I'm, remi I'm reminded of Congo Bancho now. Okay, I gotta read that again. Two. Three. Alright, I think the next match will be the last one. Yeah, I agree. Like, Thank <sighs> you. wrong with my timing or the timing this weekend but my timing is like already bad and is just like off this entire weekend yeah i agree i would love a new game with his in like no license just a ton of crazy bootlegs whoever the fuck they feel is necessary to have in the game oh this young oh shit my bad let's go with this guy he looks young I'll be honest, off the top of my head, I can't tell you who that is. <laughs> Mr. Golden Left. And not, and not only putting more visual customization to the uh, creator wrestler system, but this system is, uh, Gosh. there's like this whole thing about, um, and with the system about how you have to like train up your wrestler and gradually learn moves from taking them and... Stupid. Also, like, side gripe, I fucking hate that style of shirt wrestlers will sometimes wear. A it's just like, what? I think it's called like a Tavard or something, but yeah. 
Or it's like kind of a poncho, but it's like it's like most of the time it's just like a regular T-shirt. They just cut the sides. It's a T-shirt with the slide with the sides cut down. Let's be honest. I hate that look. It's so stupid. All right, chat. Tell me who this man is. I think this Kentaro Shiga. Oh, yep, Kentaro Shiga. Uh, yeah. So do a grapple and back up to the ropes and do a back plus B. Uh, again, I don't know too much about all Japan at this time, so um, it's not great for Mo. But whatever. All right, let's just see what it does. So fun fact, I'm playing as Mike Barton, who um, was brought in as Bart Gunn, the fake brother of Billy Gunn in the oh, Smoking God. Guns. He was famous for winning the uh, Brawl for All, the really ill-advised shoot fighting tournament that WWF had in the 90s, and uh, they fed yeah. him to Butterbean at WrestleMania. Yeah, but I mean, just knocking the fuck out. Yeah, and like most people who were involved in that whole decision said, like, are you sure? And even Butterbean was like, I, look, I can work a match, man. It's whatever. So either way, Bar uh, Mike Barton supposedly got like a pretty good rub off of it from Japan because he did defeat like Dr. Death, if I remember right. So he was kind of regarded as like, oh man, that's a pretty badass, even if he got knocked out by Butterbean, whatever. Oh, my brains are leaking out. Oh, I'm trying to get him up to the ropes. I mean, no. Here it is. There we go. Oh, yeah. Butterbean had a oh, stint in MMA. He had a. He had a record of 10 of, I think, 15 wins and 10 losses. Oh, Bart Gunn. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. He was one of the few WWE wrestler men to actually go into MMA and have a pretty all right career. God, I love Butterbean versus Manoa, man. It's kind of one like the triumphs of just... Was that the one where you say he just tried to yeah. drop kick him? Yeah, he just went in with a goddamn drop kick. And Butterbean uses his fat to deflect it like Mr. Big. Pretty much. God, it's such a great hit visage. Ooh! Am I, okay, I might be confusing Genki Sudo's uh, fight with, um... Get up! Oh, I lost all my meter. <laughs> they both had the exact same fight with Bean. Stomping the nuts. You're into that CBT, aren't you? Well, mutually assured destruction was almost a thing. Ah, looks like you're taking it home today. Hooray! Remember, kids, when you punch someone in the mush, you don't have to worry about defending on time. Remember, kids, never attempt any of these stunts or activities at home unless you want to be really cool. And remember, kids, do fight Butterbean. I promise. <laughs> yeah, you'll turn out okay. Probably. Anyways, like I said, I have to go to. I do have work tomorrow, so I better go. Uh, yeah, we're just going to end it here for tonight in so. general. So, All right, uh, thanks for joining us. Hopefully, we'll have a. a uh, we, there might be a more extended stream of this game in the future because it's. Yeah, probably. Well. All right. All right, everyone. Peace thank, out, everybody. All right, everyone. Y'all have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow for more virtual pro wrestling. Till then, I've been Eric. Good night, and goodbye, satellite. Fighters, February three. Bull Grapple Tournament. 2020 in New York.